If you know, you know. Now, we all know Sandra's versus Andre was supposed to happen years ago. However, during the lead up to that fight, Sandra's got busted for a steroid that's 10 times stronger than Computerol. That makes you 10 times faster, 10 times stronger, thinks faster, and all the above. That being said, Sandra's was only suspended for six months, moved up a division, and won a belt there. Now, reports came out that Sandra's turned down a fight with Andre at 168 on the KSI fight on the zone, which is not acceptable because Sandra's during the lead up to that fight, he claimed he willing to die in the ring in order to win the fight. And he knows Andre is not willing to do the same. And that's why he's going to win the fight. However, he got busted for taking a steroid that leaves your body in 24 hours. It's literally the perfect drug. Now, you telling me you were saying all that just because you were taking certain supplement? However, when Andre want to fight you clean and y'all both on an even playing field, matter of fact, Sandra's has the upper hand because he fights at 168 and he has experience fighting at that weight. Meanwhile, Andre has to move up in weight. But you're going to turn that fight down? Now that you clean, you have to question a man character after making that move. It tells you why he was taking that steroids in the first place. After he bashed Canelo Alvarez for taking Camburo and claimed that Canelo should be banned from the sport of boxing. So how come they didn't suspend Sanders from the sport of boxing? And they let him fight after six months suspension? And they let him fight for a title at 168? Now he turning down an Android smoke that messed up your reputation. The little bit of you had left. Now, even the UK boxing took a tremendous hit as far as their reputation because they had Dylan White fighting a clean fighter while he was dirty. They had Sandra's getting busted for a steroid that's 10 times stronger than computer roll then being allowed to fight after only after six months suspension. They had Tyson Fury getting busted for the Klitschko fight for PEDs. And they acted like it never happened and never questioned Tyson Fury why he took steroids for the Klitschko fight. Acted like it never happened before. And that's exactly what's wrong with the sport of boxing. Sandris is what's wrong with the sport of boxing. A fighter like him who get busted for steroids, but... When he's clean, he's not even willing to make up for it and fight the guy he was supposed to fight the first time when he got busted for steroids. At least Canelo Alvarez fought Golovkin right away. So that being said, uh, drop your comments below. What y'all think about the whole situation? Uh, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't listen to these casual fans because at the end of the day, Sandras gets no respect points. He lost all the respects when it comes to being a fighter in the sport of boxing. So check out my new show, Split Decision. We will be hosting it every Monday, dropping at noon. Uh, check out Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. All these links will be in the description box below. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. And last but not least, if someone in the UK doesn't take command of the commission of allowing fighters to continue after six months of suspension like Sandra's or allowing fighters like Dylan White to fight while he's being dirty, fighting a clean fighter in the process the same week, two fighters died in the ring, then the UK boxing gonna take a tremendous hit because apparently they have to dope in order to keep up with other fighters from different states and countries. So that being said, you don't have to cheat in order to cut the line, in order to get to the top. It's all hard work and dedication. And at the end of the day, it's skills that pays the bills. However, right now in the UK, it sounds like their motto is, it's supplements that pays the bills. And you already have three fighters from the UK, three top level fighters, test them for PEDs. Tyson Fury, Sandras, and even Dillian White. And Dillian White claimed that Anthony Joshua be getting supplement exemptions, which is unheard of. 